Merry Christmas, everyone. And thank you for listening to my 25 days of Christmas uh, Advent special that I did every day from December 1st till today, the December 25th. I interviewed an international from different parts of the world and I hit different countries every day. And I am so happy I did that. I was actually really doubting that I would find 25 internationals that would share their traditions on how they celebrate Christmas or how they just celebrate the holiday season. And so I'm so happy that I found 24 um, families or 24 moms that just wanted to share their tradition or and then two of them that actually was brought up in an international atmosphere or living in an international atmosphere. And I think it's just so great that they have shared their experience living abroad and how they celebrate Christmas in their home country and how they celebrate Christmas in the current country they're living in. And it's so interesting to hear that everyone just celebrates in a different way or they've changed, changed it a little bit uh, so it kind of fits their family. They're not very strict on this is how we're going to do it and this is how we're going to you know, make dinner, but they're very flexible and they're just accommodating to the cultures that's going on because a lot of the families I have spoken to, they have multicultural within the family and they're also living abroad. So it's interesting how they just balance uh, their cult the culture within the family and also what's going on around them. And it's interesting to hear about like the traditional food that's served. Some, sometimes I'm like getting hungry because they're just talking about some amazing food that they serve in their home country. And I'm like, oh, I would love that because here in Denmark, you don't, you don't get all that. You can, you can make it, but it takes a lot of time to actually make these certain foods or maybe you just don't have the ingredients to make what they make in your home country. And that was just interesting to hear how they just kind of tweaked the recipe or their family from their home countries actually sending them the food or when they, if they're coming uh, to Denmark or the country they're living in, they just bring the food with them. So it's just interesting to hear that. And we also talked to many different uh, moms that um, kind of balance, how to balance um, all these different traditions because um, We've talked about how in Denmark, uh, sometimes you have gifts every day for the kids. Uh, some parents do, it's like, okay, we'll give a gift, but also they do an, another way where the kid gives back a toy or something. So they give back a, a canned good or something every day. So they get something and then they give something. So it's just interesting to hear that. And I think that was a really great tradition. Um, and also we talked about the Nisset, the Yule calendar, and then plus the food or there's some families, um, I was surprised I even got people from like South America. And in South America, it's very warm. Uh, Christmas is warm. And in South America, you they have a huge party, uh, depending on which country. Uh, there was two moms I talked to. One was in Uruguay and the other one was in Bolivia. And it's all about party and fest and fireworks, like one month of firework until New Year's. And that was just crazy because what I experienced is like church going. There was some church going. A lot of people went to church and was all about Jesus, but other countries it's about partying and that was really uh, fun to hear and interesting to hear um, and then other other families are very traditional what food they eat and uh, what they do um, the 24th until the big 25th and it's also interesting to hear that uh, some countries celebrate the 24th and then uh, relax the 25th or some prepare for the 24th and then it's a big celebration on the 25th and just these different cultures are just like wow like there's no one way of celebrating Christmas there's many different ways and that's really interesting to hear and I always I want to implement some of these traditions in my family household I, I live in Denmark so of course we're very strict on the 24th but of course if we go travel in the U.S. we do it the U.S. way um, Santa comes during the day uh, the 25th um, and we pray, prepare for the 24th. And some countries are like that, like the UK. Um, and 
yeah, I love doing this and I'm so happy that um, there was families that wanted to be on here and share their traditions. And, and I found the 25 families and now um, it's out there for you guys to listen, to you guys to listen and learn about different uh, countries on how they celebrate Christmas. And I wanna thank you to the listeners for coming back and listening on which country it's gonna be each day because it was always a surprise. And sometimes I just didn't announce it and it was another country. So thank you so much for supporting me and through this podcasting journey. And uh, yeah, uh, Merry Christmas. And I hope everyone have um, what they got for their gift. And then um, Happy New Year's. I'll see you guys next year. My regular shows will be um, weekly. So that will be uploaded weekly. Um, so after this Christmas one, I will have one, one podcast that's released uh, every Thursday for um, weekly. So after this Christmas one, it will end. But next year I plan to do another Christmas special. Uh, a little bit more planned because this one was a bit last minute so the next one will be more planned and it'll be fun i'm really looking forward to it and yeah i will talk to you guys soon uh, merry christmas and happy new years <laughs>